Welcome guys to a new video on the channel, back in MAS, back with the old avatar. Today we'll talk about the menu screens, because you guys wanted me to make a menu screen to travel for what reason ever. And in the second half we'll talk about tools like slap battles, you can make slap battles with this, this will fling the player. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Alrighty guys, as you can see I got this beautiful box prepared. Inside we see some GUI, right? It's very simple stuff, you just make GUI, you know, you insert GUI, you make it a text button, uh, write whatever text you want, like play, alright, and then if the player clicks on it, you let it signal, I go on the signal to 1, it's important to add a rate limiter, so your menu don't break if the people spam click any buttons. Um, the rate limiter uh, will then signal 2 to the command executor which is uncanny player. Then I made this clickable, the title of the game, the dude, right, it signals 3, 3 is this, oh, it's this rate limiter, it signals 4, and it uses the info command. What happens if you use the info command? The server info this menu will show up. I added a boost, so if you click this, it'll send a signal to rate limiter, rate to this command executor, and it says boost player. What does boost player mean? It'll open the menu where a player can boost. Spawn is spawn event, signals 8, and 8 is cam player 7, so camera player 7. So the player will see this perspective of this part, 7. So let's test that out. Alright guys, I just reset my character. And here we go. It all worked. You can click on this, it'll show the info, right? You can click on the boost. It'll show this screen where you can boost the server. And if you just click on play, it'll uncam the player. That's how easy it is to make a menu screen, right? Now for the second half of the video, we'll be talking about gears again. Yeah guys, you want gears. So this gear right here, will throw it away. It has the signal class ID 10, right? You just use the give me parts command. Right here. Give me part. So give yourself a part, then you throw it, if you're not on PC, or you basically need a PC player or you use a gun or whatever. Now you cannot access the part at first, you gotta go to the explore tab, scroll down, then you click on part. Then you got a part right here, you can move it around, you can resize it, you can do anything with it, you can add class IDs, you know, all that stuff. But this part is special because I actually added it in the server settings. Because you can, if you click the part or you, if you have it in your inventory, right, it'll show up right here. And if you click on the brush tool, it'll show up in custom tools. And in custom tools, you can configure the custom name and the category. And if it can be dropped on PC. That means if we use a CMD bar right here, and we say give me fling1, it'll show up, because we named it fling1, now we can have it right here. What does fling1 mean? Well, as you can see right here, I got a friend on the server, right? I got some guy on the server, a good friend, a good test dummy, we can test this on. There he is. Look at him, guys. He'll be flinged, right? Well... How does this work? Touch event, right, 10, 11. Remember, 10 is of the fling. Um, 11 is the rate limiter. It signals 12, and 12 is fling player. What will it do? Correctly, it'll fling him. That's amazing. Lol. <laughs> that's a great fling, bro. Well, guys, that's it for the video. And yeah, subscribe, like, comment, whatever. See ya in the next guy.